like a pro. <laughs> That's what he does. <laughs>Hey y'all and welcome back. I hope everyone's enjoying their lovely Sunday, what, afternoon, evening? <laughs> so today, um, my client C, which she's more like a sister to me than anything, but um, she is going to be, we're pretty much just changing her entire um, hair. You know, at first I thought we were going to like grow it to you know as, as long as she wanted it to continue to grow but she saw some haircut and I was just like oh lord I said you turn it into me because I always make these plans of growing my hair and then I wind up cutting it because I see a nice pretty haircut so she wants to cut it and I'm like well what happened she said well I know it'll grow it's been growing I know it's going to continue to grow so I might as well play with some looks I'm like I'm here for it let's do it so we're gonna change her color and you know, it's really not gonna be like a really a color, well, well, I guess you could say that, yeah. It is a color change because we're changing the color, but um, I'm not gonna be adding any more highlights or applying any lightener. It's just gonna be straight permanent color and then we're also gonna go over it with a semi-permanent gloss. So um, it's gonna be amped up and fire. She saw this really pretty bob haircut and it was gorgeous and See, her face shape is so, it just, it complements bobs very, very, very well. And um, I just love short hair on her. Um, I'm sure she could even rock a really nice pixie cut because she just has the perfect hairline for it. But anything that's in the bob category, pixies, you know, neck length bobs, anything like that, it always just looks so good on her. So I'm excited. So for her root color, I'm using... Um, the color matrix well the line matrix and the color 7 cg and cg stands for copper gold and i'm just going to apply that to her roots um i'll do the first two sections on camera and then i'm going to finish the rest of it off camera um, and i just want to make sure that i'm saturating it very 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 well because you don't want any hot spots especially since we're going to be going over it with the semi-permanent gloss and um you just want to make sure that it's consistent and it's nicely um, saturated and you get a nice good lift. So I'm going to be using 20 volume with this simply because I want a little bit lift. Um, I don't really want it to be too, 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 um, I guess you should say bright and we don't need anything aggressive. So 40 volume and 30 volume were just completely out the picture and 20 volume was just perfect since her hair is naturally dark we needed to give it just a little bit of oomph so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna apply the next step okay y'all so for our semi-permanent gloss i am using the color nuclear from the pulp riot line and look to know me is to know that i am a pulp riot junkie i just when it comes down to semi-permanent colors I am so, 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 so picky because, I mean, you know, the quality, just the quality. And especially when you're working with uh, porous hair, such as, you know, curly hair, which then only falls in the porous category most of the time. And um, you just want to make sure that it takes. You want a nice sheen. You want a nice gloss. Um, and cheap stuff just doesn't get the job done sometimes, you know, when you want quality, shiny, reflective, true to tone, very rich, luscious color. <laughs> so, um, see, I've been talking about, you know, wanting something more ginger. So I have played with a few coppers and stuff and I kind of have kind of inched her up and we was just like, girl i i told her, i said i just don't think this is copper enough for you i said you want to be orange i said you want orange hair so we chuckled and i said okay orange it is so i went and sought out this color and at first i thought it was gonna be too orange but by the end of this video it was perfect like it was perfect it just went so well and she already had the perfect base because we already had then a, a multiple sessions prior to this of you know various different highlights and stuff like that she has nice low lights through it so it this color actually made her low lights even richer or her base color rather 
and then it made her highlights the blonde that you saw or that you can see um it of course it turned that orange so 10 out of 10 i love pope riot um unfortunately it's not available to the public so if you are a stylist and you're watching this um don't sleep on pope riot go find pope riot okay and it's normally in salon centric that's normally where i've seen it thus far but anyway so I'm just making sure I'm going section by section because when it comes to semi-permanent color, you cannot afford to have spots. So you have to make sure that it is nicely saturated. Take your time. I'm just making sure it is nicely blended and um, um, I'm, I'm just ensuring that I get all the color in there. And so I used um, two boxes of nuclear um, just to make sure that we got it you know, nice and saturated and everything. And that is going to process for about 20 to 30 minutes room temp and um you have to make sure that you um do the appropriate processing time otherwise the color won't take and it won't last as long so once that gets done processing we'll move on to our next step oh my god do y'all see this color like do y'all see this color and look okay i'm humble y'all know this like i i'm cool but this kind of look good like <laughs> for real um i kind of felt like a genie in a bottle when we got done rinsing this and let me interject and say that um when i started applying this color this color line calls for your hair to be freshly washed simply because you cannot wash the hair after rinsing out this color, okay? So that's just a little tip um, for anybody who's planning on doing some color transformations with Pope Riot. I made sure I cleaned her hair very, very well before I did um, her color application. So all I had to do was just follow through rinse and condition and go in with any of my um, my laminate sprays and you know things I used to preserve the color. So that's a tip. But anyways, y'all this color look good and it goes so nice on her skin. Like I told her like, I don't ever wanna see her in no black hair. Like she can't pay me to do it because I'm not putting her in no black hair because this is her color. Looks so good on her skin. Um, and that's the thing about hair color. I, I love it so much because it's such a personalized, customized experience. Um, I love being able to put people in different things and then letting them see themselves in different color. And oh, hair color is just so fun. It's my bread and butter. I just, I love it. But anyways, um, so we're getting ready to blow dry it. Make sure it's blow dry really, really nice and smooth. And um, I'm gonna press it out, of course. And then we're gonna get ready to um, cut her bob. But um, see, I'm actually shocked at how much her hair has grown. And I almost was a little hesitant. I was like, you sure you wanna cut it? I mean, it's just growing so nicely. And I know that has been her goal for um, for years. And you know, she expressed to me that this was the longest her hair has been. Uh, I guess since she was a little girl, maybe, you know, cause you know, most people just don't, most people don't aren't educated about hair care and especially for the curly girls. Um, luckily I am I am very thankful that these past ten years uh we have been, you know, introduced to a lot of education. So much so that there has been an overflow of information, but that's okay. We'll take we'll, we'll eat the meat and spit out the bones. But um you know, I was just like, you know, we work so hard, but she said no, she just like her hair healthy and short and she knows it'll grow back. And I'm like, hey, that's my mentality. So let's just thug it out, work it out and let's get what we want. So I'm excited for y'all to see the end. And um, after, of course I press it out, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut it. All right, y'all, so we are done silking out C's hair. And I just love this color. Oh my God. It, oh my God. I don't, no words, no words. Like it looked great when it was curly. 
and sometimes that's always my test of truth because um, being that most of my clients are natural, when they get hair color, I'm always thinking about, okay, well, if they plan on wearing twist outs and, you know, more natural styles, I have to make sure that the color reads great, both straight and curly. And in this case, we have achieved our goal. Yay. And so now I feel confident and she feels confident that, you know, she can wear a variety of different hairstyles and she can, you know, rock them to her fullest potential without having, you know, to add anything or uh, compromise. And, you know, she can just feel confident and wear her hair in the styles that she likes to wear. So mission accomplished. So now we're getting ready to go ahead and start cutting. And she is just getting a simple bob. Um, I'm really not doing any uh, layering or graduation or anything like that. Like she really wanted just a simple blunt bob, but I am going to go through because she was due for a trim when we filmed this video. So I'm gonna actually go in and just trim off what we don't need, but I'm not like intentionally trying to layer her hair. I'm just removing, you know, anything that just needs to go, you know, anything that, need, that needed to be trimmed off and that was gonna be trimmed off anyway. That's pretty much what I'm doing. So I'm um, gonna go through and make sure her line is nice and crisp. And um, if you watch my videos before when I've done blunt cuts, you have heard me mention how blunt cuts are some of the hardest, more precise and intricate cuts to do. Um, layered cuts are for me, for me, let me speak for myself, are actually easier to me because you can go in and get as jazzy as you want. You know, everything doesn't have to be uniform. But with a blunt cut, you don't have room for error. You don't have room for, I guess you should say, artistic, you know, artistic expression. No, uh, the line needs to be crisp because it's a blunt cut. <laughs> so imperfections and mistakes are very, very obvious. Um, so whereas you can kind of get fancy and just, you know, just kind of do whatever, add texture with a little layer cut. Mm -mm. But a blunt cut, it's not happening like that. So I am OCD when it comes to my blunt cuts and I go over that line a billion times until I know it's right. I'm like, lean your head this way, lean your head that way, lean it down, lean it up. Let's just go do a 360. If you can turn your neck around like an owl, I had them do it, do that too. <laughs> because I gotta make sure that the line looks good because that's what gives it the shape. That's what gives it the flair. So after I do that, I'm gonna go through, um, take off the little inside, the interior that needed to be taken away. Go ahead and trim that off a little bit. And then we'll proceed with our styling. Okay, y'all, so being that we just did a fresh, fresh, fresh cut, I am using my Kenra 25 spray, which is the super hole. I'm gonna spray that throughout C's hair, and then I'm gonna brush it through because we need a little bit more control. Now, I'm about to give y'all one of my gems, okay? I'm about to give y'all a little, a little tip. So for people with naturally curly hair, it is very, very, very important to train your haircut to lay, especially if you are natural and you don't have any type of uh, relaxer, texturizer, uh, keratin treatment, anything like that. Um, simply because our hair is curly and it grows out of our scalp sticking up, right? So when you're doing cuts, that hair, especially the short hair that's normally like beneath the ear, they're going to want to stick up. They're not going to want to lay down because that's how the hair grows. So I'm using this spray to one, give me more control when flat ironing the hair, which is going to add, um, allow me to kind of manipulate it a little bit more. And then two, it'll also help her wrap it at night and when she goes to apply her um, her mesh uh, Velcro wrap or she decides to wrap it, whichever is more convenient for her, she'll be able to do so easily. Now, later on down the line, as her hair begins to be able to be, you know, start being trained to lay how she wants it to lay, I won't have to use, you know, any hairspray when styling her hair. But 
I love using hairspray anyway just because I love the hold and the control that it gives and particularly my favorite hairsprays which are Kenra of course everybody knows that and then um, Redken is becoming a fave of mine too their number 12 is awesome so um, that's a little tip um, hairspray helps and then also don't get so frustrated with your short cuts and whatnot Sometimes what I even do is I'll do a soft mold. So if I'm taking somebody from long to short and they have naturally curly hair and they're natural, I will uh, cut it, I'll spray the hairspray, brush it through, and then I'll even wrap it first before even styling it just so it can lock it in and it'll start being trained by the, uh, by the heat from the dryer. And low heat, I don't use high heat, I use low heat because high heat will make the roots swell. So I use cool heat to lock it in, train it, and then I'll go through and I'll, um, I'll bevel it or style it however they want to style. So that's a little tip. Um, and then after that, I just, you know, of course, comb it through and I take my time with that. And it, it looks really, really stiff, but it's really, really not. It's actually really, really soft and has a lot of body to it. So shout out to Kimra. Kimra is the bomb with the hairsprays. Okay, y'all, my sister's sister is done. <laughs> oh my God. Woo, y'all, we did something serious today, okay? Like, this haircut deserves an Emmy or a Grammy or an Oscar. One of the three. I don't even know if they even... No, one of these, one of these award shows actually does have a category for hair stuff. So let me not, hey, let me not play with myself. Y'all, this haircut look good, okay? C is rocking it. I love it. It just looks so good. It compliments her. I'm just like, girl, I don't know if I'm going to ever be able to support you growing your hair out because I just can't. I, I just can't get enough of this. I just love it. It looks so good on her. So shiny, so silky. Uh, it's, it's just, it's, it's everything. If you enjoyed watching my video today and if you have watched other content of mine, Go ahead and subscribe and join the Brandy Beauty family. I just, I love y'all. And the best way to show that you love me back is to subscribe and share and like it. Okay. You can do that too. You know, that that's always good. <laughs> so thank y'all again for watching. Um, and I will see y'all in my next video.